Hello guys, Maxis here and today we're gonna build a battle priest of Space Marines Chaplain in Terminator armor. As you remember, previously on this channel we have built another Terminator Chaplain, which was Terminator Chaplain Tarantus. And before Chaplain Tarantus there was another plastic Chaplain, which was Collector's Edition Terminator Chaplain, which was the very first Chaplain available in plastic. This one is technically the third. Before we build this guy, let's take a look at the box on the front. He wears a helmet. But on the back there is another head without helmet. Crotius Arcanum can be built in two different options. And he can either wear a shield or a bolter. This set seems to be customizable. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. As always, we get instructions, we get a sprue, and we get a 40 millimeter base. Looking at this lad, I think I'm gonna be building him as a heavy melee guy. I will give him this Crotius Arcanum, and I will give him a Storm Shield, and of course he will be helmeted. Option 23. As always, we start with the torso, which is gonna be 1, 2, and 3. Let's go and find those bits. This is bit number one, this is bit number two, and this is bit number three. All three torso bits are cleaned up now and prepared for assembly. Let's try to dry fit them first. I think this is how they are supposed to be combined together. This is it. Let's glue them. I'm gonna start with this bit. There is a lock over here, this part, which will prevent you from messing things up. Now we're gonna build the front part. I'm gonna put these bits here. And this is our torso. Looking very nice. After our torso, we are supposed to build both legs. Let's start with the left one, which is gonna be bit 5 and bit 6. This is bit 5 and this is bit 7. Both parts of the leg are prepared now. As you can see, this leg is very smartly built. It has a lock over here. Let's dry fit it. This is how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna glue it now. Here we go. Since this is a left leg, it's supposed to be here, like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it. Here we go. Now to the second leg, the, the right one, four and six. This is a bit four. As you can see, it's on a tactical rock. And this is bit number six. Both parts of the right leg are prepared. I really like how they put a skull in an iron halo over here. It looks really amazing. This leg is supposed to be assembled like this. Let's glue it. Here we go. A lock over here too. So it should be very easy to put this leg on like this. I'm gonna glue it too. And uh, now we have our Terminator Chaplain standing on both of his legs. We have assembled so far this part. Now we need to put some additional decorations. We start with number 10, which is gonna be on the left leg. This is number 10. Number 10 looks really beautiful. It also boasts a very prominent look over here. Let's try to dry fit it. Let's see where it's supposed to sit. It's supposed to be sitting over here. I'm gonna really carefully glue it. It is supposed to be over here. This is the positioning, I believe. Very nice. Now to number nine. This is our number nine. Number nine seems to be a little bit trickier to dry fit. I strongly recommend you give it a try before you actually glue it. It is supposed to be sitting over here like this. I'm gonna 
do it now. Like this. And now number eight, that should be in front. This is beat number eight. This is beat eight. And it is supposed to be attached over here, like this. It is fairly easy to see where the glue should go. It should be here. Here we go. Looks very, very nice. This part is done too. Now to the Crotius Arcanum. I really like this one, which is gonna be 21, 22, and another 22. This is Shaft 21, and these are two 22s. All right, so all three beats are prepared. Now we're supposed to assemble them. I think they are supposed to be sitting over here like this. So this is like a mace kind of thing. I'm just gonna glue them. This is the first. And this is the second. This Crozius Arcanum looks incredibly cool. There are some eagles over here, stylized. And now we need an arm 13 for this weapon. This is arm 13. This is our arm. And we need to attach our hand over here, like this. I'm gonna put some glue here. And I'm going really carefully to attach the hand. I think this is our position. Sadly, there is no lock per se, but it should be enough like this. I'm gonna leave it for a while so it glues perfectly. And in the meanwhile, we need to decide what to do with the right arm. And we already said that we would like to do a shield. So for the shield, we need to do multiple things. We need to add a handle. We need to put some skeleton looking thing outside of it. Then we need to add another arm and then we need to put all this to the torso. So let's start over here. 18 and 17. This is shield 18 and this is handle 17. Both shield and the handle are prepared. Let's see how they are supposed to be attached. Something tells me it should be like this because there is a lock over here. You can see this vertical thing. It's uh, effectively a lock. I'm gonna put some glue here. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna try not to lose the handle. <laughs> Be very careful, it is really tiny. It is also crucial to put it in the correct position, not upside down. In our case, I can see that the hand looks correct because this is the top of the shield. This is how it's supposed to be. And I suspect that this part is kinda another look looking thing for a hand. Moving forward, we need to put the skeleton on the shield on the front of it. Number 19. This is number 19. This is probably some sort of a saint or a chapter hero or something. Really hard to say because the condition is not mint. This icon is prepared. Let's see how it fits here. It actually fits perfectly. I guess we would need to put some glue over here, which is effectively a lock, and a little bit over here and here. And that should be enough. Let's drop him on top. Here we go. Looking really, really, really nice. Now we need to assemble the hand and the shield. Hand 11. This is hand number 11. This is our right hand and we need to combine it with the shield. And it should be built like this. It doesn't really look like that, but there is a very well-defined position of this hand. You cannot really mess it up. And this is due to this look that we talked about previously. The way I'm gonna glue it, I'm gonna put some glue here and on the hand. And that should be enough. And that is gonna be our hand. While we are waiting for these hands to glue itself together, we will go ahead and attach these hands, the left hands to the torso. This is our torso and this is our left hand. It is supposed to be somewhat like this. I think on the picture, he is holding it very similar. He is basically 
saying charge pointing forward and that is how we're gonna build it i'm gonna put some glue on this arm and i am going to make it touched in a way that says charge is it charge enough that is charge enough for me now to another arm it's supposed to be attached over here somehow this hand can be attached in number of angles there is no real lock over here so i'm just gonna do my best and try to attach it like this however if you kind of a person that wants to paint everything perfectly i think you should paint the hands and the torso first and combine them together after that because it might be challenging to paint some parts if you glue this arm with the shield first but i don't care about that so i'm just gonna go ahead and glue it and then i'm gonna be i think touching it like this this is how it should be very good we have assembled both arms and now we need to do some additional things, namely shoulder pads, a head, and putting him on a base. Let's start with the shoulder pads, 12 and 14. This is shoulder pad 12, and this is shoulder pad 14 with Crook's Terminator. Shoulder pad 12 is supposed to be sitting on the right arm, so it should be somewhere here, like this. Let's glue it. This is number 12. This is shoulder pad 14. And it's supposed to be on the left arm over here, like this. Let's glue it. Very, very nice. Now we need a head. We will go with number 23 with a helmet. This is scary looking number 23. The head is prepared. It is supposed to be sitting here, like this. Really scary looking. Let's glue it. I think this is our head position. He is marching forward relentlessly, somewhat like a Necron warrior, but much cooler. Now we need to put him on a base. This is our base. And uh, I'm gonna glue his feet. And I'm going to try to put him on a base in a way that will be putting his head roughly in the middle of a base. So it's gonna be like this. Also, it's nice if a tactical rock is kinda in the base and not going outside. And uh, this is our mini, I guess. Let's take a look. This guy looks very scary. Let's double check the instructions. So we have done all that, all that. We have put all these decorations. Both of these ones were fairly tricky. We added a Crotius Arcanum hand. We added a hand with a shield. No storm bolter here. And then we put all these things on. So this is our guy. Of course, the question is how he compares to some other Terminator chaplains. And that is why I have here Chaplain Tarantus. If we take a look at Chaplain Tarantus and at this nameless chaplain over here, both of them look actually quite cool. I would even say that this one is looking a bit larger than Tarentus. Tarentus is, of course, a bit more decorated. They both look incredibly cool. Another mini that makes sense to compare this guy with is Captain with uh, Mark 10 armor. He also has a Storm Shield, which is very similar to the Terminator Shield. Terminator Shield is a bit shorter, but uh, both of them have a Martyr remnants over here. Both of them look incredibly cool. They are very similar in size, even though the chaplain is a bit bulkier again. This mini was really fun to build. I would give it five service skulls out of five for the fun of it. It had a couple of things that were a little bit tricky to attach, like these bits on the legs, which were a little bit tricky to put in place. 
So I will give it four out of five service calls for the easy to assemble part. Also, I would like to note that this set has multiple options. It starts to look like that I would want to have another of these guys, which is gonna have another Crossos Arcanum and a Combi Bolter or Heavy Bolter. It's gonna, it's gonna be, I think, a Storm Bolter. This one is clearly a melee option and I would like to have another one that can shoot. But uh, that is gonna be all for today. Please let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this mini. I really enjoyed building it strongly recommend this guy to add him to your Terminator army. He definitely belongs to the first company of every respectable first company wielder in the field. And as always, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It will really help me to move forward. If you have any comments, please drop me a comment in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.